My project is a research of Nordic and Viking artifacts, relics, and craftsmanship that have been discovered. There aren't many artifacts that we have found from the Vikings, which leaves a lot up for the imagination and different interpretations. And oftentimes we have allowed people to rewrite the Viking culture. For example, Viking helmets didn't have horns as far as we know. We can contribute that fabrication to operas in the 19th century. There have been a few significant archeological finds that have had an impact in understanding these groups of people. A total of 167 Ulf bear swords have been found in Scandinavia and around the Baltic Sea. This sword's makings were done by an extremely skilled manufacturer, far more advanced than what we originally thought was able during that time. Because swords were key status symbols, this particularly particular brand of sword was highly coveted. It was so legendary and prized that other competing craftsmen tried to copy it, and some counterfeit swords have been found with one of the letters engraved in a slightly different position, almost to avoid a copyright infringement, similar to co counterfeit Air Jordans in today's time. The sword was made with intense heat and large amounts of carbon, adding to its strength and lightweight features. According to National Geographic, an oof bear was analyzed and recreated by master blacksmith Richard Furr for National Geographic documentary series of the Viking sword. Ferrer described the resulting replica as representing my entire skill set sitting there in a two pound chunk of steel. Found in Sweden in 2022 while developing for a housing site. This amulet in the shape of Thor's hammer is one of the most recent and exciting archeological finds of the Norse culture. The amulet contains a hole in the top where a string could be strung through in order to wear it as a necklace or pendant. Experts sus suspect this was done when Christianity began to be introduced as they wore crosses. This could create the same effect for the Norse religion, remembrance and worship. Thor is a particular popular god of Norse religion, the god of thunder, sky, and agriculture. He is also a fierce defender of the mid-realm, or earth, and is famous for slaying giants to protect humanity. During the Viking Age, he was considered the greatest rival to Christ before Christianity prevailed and became the more prominent religion in Scandinavia. In 2020, archaeologists stumbled upon an ancient traveling pass for Vikings in a mountain in southern Norway as the ice caps melted. Among the treasures are a wooden whisk, held upside down in the first photo, a wooden needle, and a hide shoe dating between 300 to 1500 AD. They also found horse dung, horseshoes, sleds, and were able to preserve some footprints of the Nordic travelers. This helmet was found on a farm in Norway in 1943. It was originally found in nine pieces, but was able to be reconstructed with all of its pieces finally back intact. This was the only intact helmet we had found for a long time and was our only clue to what Vikings really wore. Six more helmets have been found since then, but none of them are as intact as the one pictured. Most of the helmets are spectacle helmets, meaning they have eye pieces that are formed integrally with the nasal protection. Along with more melting ice, these bone skates were located in York, England. They give us a glimpse into another side of the Nordic and Viking life. The feared and ruthless culture is what we normally focus on, but these suggest a more playful personification. The bone skates are different than today's in that they are made to slide along the ice instead of cut into it. The bone is flat on the bottom instead of in a sharp edge. It's fun to imagine a Nordic family taking a break to play a game on the ice. This ship is the most significant Viking find in history and was discovered in 1880. Currently being held in an Oslo museum, it was restored to show a completed picture of what this ship once looked like. Despite being underground for thousands of years, it still had a lot of wood intact, just waiting to be unburied. There are 16 oar holes on each side and the crew would have consisted of 34 people in all. It's amazing that 34 men would have been brave enough to travel the ocean and participate in raiding and trading with such little protection. During the digging out of this marvelous ship, they also found a grave, grave site containing the bones of a strong man in his 40s, horses, dogs, and even a peacock. In the burial site, they also found three smaller boats, riding equipment, and a sledge. That these are just a few of the significant archaeological finds that have had an impact in us understanding these groups of people. Thank you.